What is happening everybody? LithoT here. Today we are back playing some more Minecraft. I have made another house over here. It is kind of the same style as this guy here. Not as big though. Um, and I did expand the road a wee little bit between here and around. Just around everywhere. Uh, it's been a while since I played last. Or, no, no, I've been playing. It's been a while since I've recorded a little bit. Uh, that's because some stuff's been going on with the YouTubes. And some a lot of my Minecraft videos are being claimed by YouTube, saying that I don't have the right to monetize them, which doesn't make sense because I do. So I've been trying to deal with that, and I've been kind of lazy. So, <clears throat> I did a whole bunch of redstone work a couple episodes ago. And I kind of got back into it yesterday, and I was kind of designing some things out, and that's really loud. Sorry. Let's go 45. Sorry about that. I forgot how. Yeah, that's good enough. So, I have done this here. Uh, this is our wiring room, and I have completed the sorting array. And I will demonstrate that in a sec. And this is going to be our control panel here. This is our nice little room. I like it. We got stairs up going up to these slabs with the cobblestone border. Crafting bench in your face. So, crap, I didn't bring enough item, fr item frames. Uh, basically, we're going to have three functions here. Uh, one for these three things. These are the three things we're sorting out. Cobblestone, gold, and iron. Uh, let's see. Iron goes to this guy. Let's just do it in this order for now. You can always change it. So like that. And if we want these to be smelted, right now it's saying no, we don't want it to, but when I do that, we'll wire it up, so there'll be a, uh, when I flick that lever, it will smelt that. And, uh, the problem I've run into, it's not really a problem, it's kind of a setback. Oh, by the way, I didn't know you could do this. It says the durability, and it gives me the item number. If you press and hold F3 and press H, uh, it'll change that, so right there there's no thing f3h and it shows me the durability which is really nice um come so let's get back here i don't have a way back here except for that Alrighty, i am currently running into kind of a problem uh we have our sorting array here the minecart comes up through this swirly uh track here up to this guy and this loads the sorting array and here we have iron here we have gold here we have cobblestone and this is for miscellaneous items which I've not routed to go anywhere <clears throat> and each one of these go down to their respective furnaces and the problem I'm running into is to turn uh, these switches on and off uh, anything in there no. uh, these switches need to tell us if we're gonna smelt or not and the problem I have is I have to power these hoppers here uh, because these will automatically suck the iron, gold, and cobble down. But if I don't want it to be smelted, I don't want it to get sucked down, I want it to go to the miscellaneous, I need to power these hoppers uh, individually, all separately. So it's really hard to do. So I need to power these hoppers. The only way I can do it, only way I thought of doing it was I'm going to have a redstone torch here and here. And one here. Uh, this one will be a little bit easier to power because I got this open room here. These guys are going to be a little bit harder. I think I can move this guy over to there. And that will power... Oh no, i got to power that guy. Um, and I can't do it behind here because I got the comparators. So I have to do it on these two blocks. And that's going to be hard with this here. And this has to be here. It's it's just going to be really difficult to figure out, but once I do, it should uh, be easy to do after that. still don't have a way into this room. Uh, but I am going to go get some item frames, and we're going to work on this room a little bit today. Alright, here we go. Let's get these item frames here. And go like this. Let's go grab a piece of stone from this chest, I believe. Yeah, I got a lot of stone in here. Okay. So... This is how the control panel is going to look. Boop, boop, boop. And it's saying, do you want iron ore or iron ingot? Stone, cobblestone, stuff like that. Uh, but that's probably going to get wired off camera because 
Redstone is awesome, but it's not the best uh, for recording. <laughs> so I got uh, this arch right here. I kind of wanted a mirror on the other side, and I was thinking we could maybe put uh, some sort of chest array type deal. Um, so if we just go like this, maybe three chests. Okay, that doesn't look bad. We could, do, if we wanted to, we could do a whole three by three. But uh, it's kind of overkill, and I don't really like the look of that, to be honest. <clears throat> so we'll get rid of the side rows. I'll put those there. And what if we did a design with stairs? Maybe something like that. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Whoa, phone going off. I gotta shut that off. It's on vibrate, but it's on my desk, so let me turn this off. Pardon me. Ooh, assets texting me. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm popular. Um what can we put back there? So this is just stone brick. I uh, will probably hide some lighting back here. What if we changed this to instead of just stone brick, um cobblestone? Kind of give it a different feel, different look, uh, per se. Uh, is that going to cover all of it? Yes. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, somebody guessed my skin, finally. Let me... Oh, I like to look at that. Uh, let me take my stuff off. We'll do a little F5 in. Uh, someone guessed my skin. I will have a picture right here show up. It is Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst. 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 Yes. Uh, if you don't know who that is, he is the host of the game show, TV show, Survivor. And that show is one of my favorite shows, so that's why I decided to uh, use him as my skin. And I'm actually kind of surprised someone got it because it's it's a good show, but I don't know know how much you can get from seeing my skin here and I'm actually trying to look to see who guessed it um, I'm pretty sure it was actually let me let me look okay the person was Nick tricky 17 they guessed it right he or she I'm pretty sure it's a he they guessed it right and props to you you're awesome for guessing that <laughs> Uh, if you watch the show, you're even that more, that much more awesome. I don't even know if that's right grammar. Is my grammar well? I don't know. So, in other news, we are in the 13W23 snapshot. And that is being called the UHC snapshot, which is very appropriate because I just found gold. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what UHC is... It's called, uh, it stands for Ultra Hardcore, and it's a game mode in Minecraft that was invented by the Mindcrack server, uh, and they play to kill each other, basically, in PvP. It wasn't, you know, designed for that. It started out with them trying to kill the Ender Dragon as a group, but then it evolved into PvP. But you don't regenerate health naturally. Like, right now... You'll see I have full hearts if I took some damage. Um, I don't even know if I can take damage somewhere. Can I take damage here? Oh. Can I take damage somewhere? Can I take damage somewhere? Can I jump off of this? Let's go like this. Yeah, there we go. See? I will naturally regen health. Not really. Once I eat... Go ahead. There we go. Uh, UHC makes it so where you don't naturally regenerate health. And that really changes the game. And the only way to uh, naturally regen health is to craft a golden apple. Which, hello silverfish. A uh, golden apple which is usually made with uh, gold nuggets surrounding an apple. But the mod, it's a mod right now. Uh, makes it so it takes gold ingots and then 
After you craft them, you eat them, they'll give you two hearts. But UHC can now be played in vanilla Minecraft without mods because command blocks have this new feature. There's a new game rule if you type slash uh, game rule. I think it's natural regeneration. And then you can do true, which is what we're in right now, or you can change it to false. And that makes it so you won't uh, regenerate health naturally. And it's very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to work a bit on this, but I forgot to demonstrate this guy to you here. So let's call our minecart to this. It's got to come over here. Hello. We're going to put our iron, gold, and cobblestone in. Maybe not that much cobble. And we're going to get rid of you. And let's get over here to see it in action. See, mine cart goes up there. I need to make a way to get in here. Mine cart goes up here. It's getting unloaded with all the goodies. And once that's done, it goes to our sorting array here. And once this is done, it's going to get power from that comparator. It goes into a block, to a torch, to that block, to this dust. And once that's gone, take a little bit more out of it. It's going to get sent back down back to where it started and all the items that were unloaded go into the sorting array which go down to respective furnaces there are three furnaces we got iron in here gold in here and cobble in here so that's how that system works um, right now I'm going to work a little bit on this room here and get back to you boom here we go uh, this is the look I went with. We got a control panel here, put some chests down for looks, a crafting bench. Actually, I, I did that on camera. I don't know why I showed that. <clears throat> and this is the control panel here. It's only one thing. We're going to keep the items here, or we're going to send them off to our storage room. And that will be controlled by this. And if we keep the items here, they're going to be kept in this little array of goodness here. And the items will come in probably from there uh, back behind here I don't have a way to get back there let's just dig uh, back behind here we'll have that uh, well that will be our input of items so let's say we get cobble it's gonna come down here boom sweet uh, but now what I have to do is I actually have to start using this thing because I'm out of iron I've I've used so many hoppers that it's not even funny <clears throat> what I have to do is take all the items out of where do you go? This place <laughs> there is. This place, man, it's a, it's in a slime chunk, so there's just slime everywhere. That they're falling to their death and getting in my hoppers. It's getting annoying. But I have to take uh the items out, all the cooked items, anything in here will come out and I gotta converge all of them together and then send them off that way and I need to take them to an item elevator and after that they will be put up to here now what I haven't figured out is this system here of how to keep the items here how to send them, send them to storage I think I'll have a hopper underneath this chest and if I send it to storage I will have uh, this will keep it that hopper powered so it won't pull anything out but once I flick that it'll unpower it and then I can send it off via pipes, item hoppers, we can use it as pipes. But we are out of iron, and I'm actually thinking about making an iron golem farm, which I've never made one before. I've seen videos on it, but they don't make sense to me. It looks different. No, it's, just, it's the same. Uh, so I'm, I might make an iron golem farm. That might be for another video. Uh, but that, don't worry, that's not the end of this video. I... I'm kind of done working on this today. We've done it, uh, done quite a lot of work, and uh, we'll come back to this another day. But for now, we're gonna go find something fun to do. Level thirty. Let's enchant a diamond shovel this time. Ooh. Oh, not efficiency four, but that's all right. <laughs>
We are currently at our desert village. That was weird. Go! Aw, oh, it didn't make it. We're currently at the desert village. Our base is over that way. And I kind of wanted to make this place a village. <laughs> Actually make it a village versus, you know, locking villagers up. And it's a really big village, I've noticed. There's a lot of guys. So today, I wanted to kind of reinvigorate, if you will. I don't know what word to use there. But I'm, I want to um, put a nice little fence around this uh, entire village. Uh, keep all these guys safe. Uh, so maybe we'll go out one, two, three, four, five. We'll start here. Um, I don't have a silk touch, do I? No. So I wanted to do a design with glass panes and uh, glass blocks. So I think maybe... I wonder if that would be good to just go like that. Or would it be better to go every two? I think every two looks better, actually. So we'll go one, two like this all the way around. Should have brought my silk touch with me, but uh, it's not a huge deal. Get out of here, pig. Okay, so one, two, there, two, there, there. So uh, I will do this all the way around the village and uh, should keep all the bad guys out. Um, hopefully. That's the plan, actually. <laughs> but we all know how plans work out. They don't always go how you plan them. And I think it's getting dark. Okay, so let's go over here. Uh, I want to go out five blocks on each side. So edge of the village is here, so one, two, three, four, five. And we'll go here. So, it's got to be lined up with this guy. Alright, so how do we want to do corners? Let's just do that. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll just go around again. Again. So, uh, if you haven't been watching, I've been doing Beneath the Void. It's a CTM map. Uh, complete the monument. Where I go and fail and fight mobs and capture wool. It's a really fun game type. I'm having fun with it. And uh seems like it's getting a good response from you guys, so that's always nice. Hey, I placed that in the right spot. So that's always nice to know that uh, you guys are enjoying it as well. I know I am. It's a very nice map, and I like it. So if you haven't checked it out, I recommend it, uh, because I'm enjoying it, and I like it when you watch my videos. <laughs> okay. So, oh, there's a wheat farm, so we got to go out even farther. We'll probably come back here at some point uh, later down the road. And uh, we'll add, in these open spaces, we'll add our own houses um, to kind of balance out the look of the empty desert here. So where's the edge of this part of the village? Yeah, it's just, yep, this is the farthest. So we'll go one, two, three four five and it will be on this block here very nice very nice I've been working on a little secret project lately I don't know if I'm gonna get it completed though um, so we can't do a corner like that we don't have any torches um, <laughs> how should we do this because the other corner I had it like this. Uh, but I can't do... I could. You know, we won't do that. We'll just go stick with the other uh, every two blocks. Look. It'll be a little bit weird, but I think we can deal with it. But this is probably not the greatest video, so I'm probably going to just do the rest of this off camera. And uh, I'll get back to you guys in a minute. There we go, the little gate, fence, not a gate, <laughs> the fence is complete all the way around the village. I think it looks pretty snazzy, it blends in very well with uh, the glass, or the 
sand and sandstone of the desert. Now what I want to do is, uh, well, I'll do this off camera, because uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I'm going to get rid of all this grass because it doesn't really fit in with the sandstone village. And uh, after I get rid of that, I'm going to replace it all with sand and sandstone for the walkways. I got to get some torches up in here to light it up. Um, can't really use anything but torches since I don't have a lot of glowstone. Uh, so that's going to be what I'll be doing off camera. Next episode, we... Well, I don't I don't know what to do, uh, but I'll figure it out. So I'm going to have an episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.